Hello, ACL here. In this video I'm going to talk about file length checks and dynamic save files. And both of these are somewhat complicated concepts, but uh, it should be pretty intuitive once I go through some examples. Uh, unfortunately I couldn't find a game with a saving mechanism that I wanted, so I took one of my old games that I never finished and I added the save save mechanism that demonstrates the things I need to show you guys. So, first thing I'm going to do is going to launch the game. Uh, let me change the gold that you start with. I'm going to change it to 255, which is FF and hex for those of you that don't remember. It's an important value, and you'll see why. So, I start a new game. I have 255 gold, and I want to change that. So, I'm going to save open up the save file I'm gonna look for 255 I made it so that there's only one that'll show up oops I need to search in hex there we go and if I want to insert some data here edit insert bytes one byte and try to change this to a value so that I have FFFF uh, you'll see there's there's gonna be some complications and one thing you may have noticed is that my save file isn't quite like Dink Smallwood I haven't pre-allocated memory in Dink Smallwood they had a lot of zeros uh, and those zeros were where future values would go which is a horrible waste of space which is why in more complicated games you'll see save files that are more like this so I'm gonna load the game and you see I, g I get an error I inserted some data and somewhere in this save file they're keeping track of the length of this entire save file and so they know that something's up because the file size isn't what it should be so let's uh... Th there's ways we can get around this though so first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna undo that little error I just introduced so now it's back to the way it was before and the way to get around this is fairly simple because we we can edit this FF without any issues right here we can edit our gold to any value below 255 but we can't increase the size so what we can do is actually load this file we see we have 255 gold go in and let's let's kill an enemy when he dies I'll get gold so I, I gained 9 gold, I'm at 264. So I go in 264, that's uh, 0108. Let me save that real quick. It's also worth noting that my save file is uh, in Little Endian, therefore it'll, it'll be uh, 0801. I can actually eyeball it right now, it's right there. And I rolled over to the next to the next uh, digit therefore now I can edit these because I don't have to insert any additional data and if you see if I exit the game and reload I should have FFFF gold which is about 65,000 and I do now this isn't always guaranteed to work some games use checksums and other things to make sure that no data in the save file was edited which is more complicated and kind of a pain in the ass to get around if they're putting that much work into it uh, you pr you'd probably have better luck with a memory editor we're probably not going to cover that ever it just never comes up um, okay, so the next next concept is dynamic save files. Let's say it wasn't so easy to find our gold. Here it was simply, we could find it fairly easily with one simple value search because it was the only one. But that's not always the case. Um, I'll demonstrate this as such. I'll make a new game. I'll start it out with 50 gold. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this file with 50 gold and then I'm going to start another one where I save with say 75 gold now I'm going to make a backup of this this is the one with 50 gold so save one backup 
and I'm going to make a new save file where I have 75 gold, and we're going to do a file compare on those to see to see what's going on. So, new game, save. Both of these I just saved right off the bat. They should, in theory, be almost identical. Ooh, this is not navigating to the right place. This is going to be a pain. Let's see, app data roaming. Yep, here we go. And, oh, I meant to open that up as file compare. Silly me. Oh, this would have been much easier. You can paste a path. Perfect. Uh, and it was save one back up. Let me copy that name. Here we go. And you see it's already found differences. And if we keep stepping through, you notice that there's a lot of differences. In fact, almost every single digit is different except for a few zeros here and there. Which means that a file compare option will not work at all. And that's kind of the pain of a of the dynamic save file, which is why sometimes you have to rely on the uh, statistic overview similar to how we did value searches in the other video and then we have to rely on the first method of pushing values over by just gaining a small amount of gold in the game and then editing it to the max value based on the number of bytes available to us alright I guess that's it for this video thanks for watching and farewell